all right what's up guys welcome back to another video today is a friday i just got done getting my hair cut right now i'm really feeling really fresh and feeling myself right now right now we gotta go to the house and you know start cleaning but i wanted to start this video and start off saying that like this is the first episode of our cut i'm gonna try to cut down to maybe about five or ten pounds so I can get to like maybe around 165 and then maybe we'll see how we look and we're happy with it we'll keep doing it if not we'll just try to like work a little more back up and add more calories but I just want to let you guys know today is starting off as the first episode the first episode of the series of the cutting series it's gonna be a special one we're gonna keep doing this for about 12 weeks and see how we can get so we're gonna slowly cut the calories and then see how we do. That's the best way to do it. That's the best way so you can prevent from losing muscles and that way you can stay good. That's what I highly recommend. So I'll see you guys when I get to the house. What's up guys, finally back into the house. I already got done with my errands for today. Now we're gonna go ahead and have a pre-workout meal right before the gym. Today is gonna be a chest and back day. So I will show you guys that. But on today's menu, it's going to be some rice and eggs only because, you know, sometimes we like to switch it up besides just having a regular like meal, like chicken and rice before the gym. Sometimes I do like having my rice and eggs. And also I usually like eating my eggs for breakfast, but I had a shake instead. So just so I can be quick out the house and run some errands, but going to eat this, going to down all this. And then I should check back with you guys after I'm done with this and I already have my fit on. By the way, guys, some things I do recommend that you do while you're in the cut, you need to add more veggies and you definitely need to chew your food more or eat stuff that's gonna require you to chew for a lot longer. It'll set a signal to your brain saying that you're getting full and then that way you can sufficient yourself and not be as hungry. But other than that, you just need to increase the volume of the food, not necessarily the calories. You just gotta find a way. So whether that's increasing your protein, adding more veggies, or finding a recipe online, there's a bunch out there that's gonna help you and is gonna like increase the amount of the food and not necessarily the calories. That's what I personally would do. That's probably what I'm gonna do so I don't get ass hungry. Just cause honestly, I am a big eater and my biggest problem is sometimes, you know, not, not having to eat because uh, we're trying to like not eat and go down in calories, which kind of sucks. So I'm a big eater. So if you're like me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add more veggies. I'm gonna add more fats, like guac. That way I, my stomach can get fuller and I can feel much better and not not as hungry. Also too, uh, places like Walmart, they do sell some like carbonated water with flavor. I've actually tried those and they're so good. And they're very cheap too. You could buy them in pack. Yeah, I think you can buy them in a pack of like 12 or you can buy them like single ones if you want to like just try it out see if you like the flavor at all. I would do that too. I'm probably going to have to start doing that. So that way like not maybe at night but like after I have my dinner I can have like some carbonation that's going to treat it like a soda and then like it tastes good and it'll fill me up. So just want to throw some little gems at you guys. Alright, what's up guys? So this one I'm going to throw on my fit for the gym. Got the gym short fit going on with the Nike socks. I'm gonna have a black uh, shirt pump cover over this. And then that should be my fit for the gym. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys at the gym. All right, what's up guys? We're finally back in the gym. Right now, we're gonna start, I'm gonna start my chest and back. I'm here with my buddy, Dom, over here. Hey Dom, say what up to the camera. <laughs> He's way too hyper right now. He's setting up his tripod, but I'm setting up mine too. We're gonna get started with this chest and back workout. We're gonna start off with bench, then we're gonna go straight to incline, and we're gonna hit some flies. And then I'm also gonna do some lat pull down and some rows. So I'll see you. I'll see you guys start the workout.
What's up guys? Workout is complete. I got to finish my chest and back workout. And after that, I just ended up doing some abs. I hit the sauna for like 20 minutes, which I highly recommend you guys do after a workout every now and then. It's shown signs to like lower your blood pressure, you know, improve cardiovascular, and you know, lower down your anxiety, all that good stuff. So your dopamine will definitely go up. Go up. It's, a, it's a method of biohacking your body. So I highly recommend it. Feels good. Yeah, it sucks temporarily, but you feel so much better afterwards. I also ended up doing some cardio for like about 30 minutes, just cause I haven't been doing as much cardio. But now that I'm like actually trying to cut down a bit, I'm gonna be implementing a lot more cardio. So guys, I highly do recommend you actually do your cardio along with cutting some of your calories because it does make the process a lot easier. You don't want to be cutting your calories way too much and you definitely don't want to do it way too fast. So I just recommend you do it slowly. I was at 3,200, now I cut down to 3,000 calories. But guys, that's gonna be a wrap for the first episode of the cutting series. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you find e found every information very helpful. Stay tuned for more episodes. So I'm gonna make at least, I wanna say, at least anywhere from eight to 10 or 12 episodes because we are trying to cut for the summer and we are planning for that. But anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.